um, when I had her, I needed her because I needed to grow up and get my shit together and I think she was the drive that I needed to make me into the person that I am today and make me go as hard as I've gone for the last 13 years and now... Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I spent the day, oh I changed my hair. Um, I'm, today we're completely at home. Even though I wanted to go on the road a little bit, um, it rained earlier and Mia is not doing well at all. Ever since we left her appointment yesterday, she has been super grumpy. Ever since she got that um, hepatitis B second shot, she's been so grumpy. Today it was so hard to get her to sleep and normally she does not give you any issues when it comes to like sleeping and stuff like that. Like she really is a good baby when it comes to those things and she wouldn't sleep, she wouldn't go down. It's like she needed extra comfort. At one point she fell asleep on me and like the moment I tried to transition her to like the bed or anything, she was going crazy. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, I have like, she obviously, she needs a little bit more from me um, today than every other day. And so I'm trying to give her extra cuddles. But right now we were doing a bit of tummy time and... Um, she fell asleep. But also I left her there because this is the first... I have her covered because the air is going. But I left her there because all of today, this is the first she slept for as long as she's sleeping for. I fed her, she was spitting up, she was groggy, she was just... Today has not been her best day at all. I'm hoping that as the day progresses, she starts feeling a little bit better. You know, I don't know if her little leg is tender from where she got the shot. If there's a fever, if there's a... I don't really know, but I've been trying to put her on the boob to give her all the nutrients that she needs and just to in hopes that she feels better and you know she's doing well but having a grumpy baby is just not great because you're trying to figure out what is going on with them and they can't talk to tell you what is going on and so it's a little bit frustrating i can say that i have not gotten frustrated um since having her i feel like i'm at a space in my life where i am more ready to have a child than i was when i was um 16 and had my first daughter and so i've found that i'm able to comfortably and confidently pour so much love into mia not that i didn't pour love into my first daughter but again when i had her i was um 16 and i didn't really know what i was doing but i feel like now i'm so much more equipped i'm so much more um knowledgeable i feel like i know what i'm doing which is crazy because before i had me i'm just like oh my god i don't know if i know what i'm doing and my co-workers are and friends are always saying to me girl you know what you're doing you've had a baby before just you just need to relax you know but uh, i've noticed throughout this process throughout the month that mia has been with us um and it's just that i have so much love to pour into her and so much patience and like she couldn't have come at a better point in my life i feel like my first daughter um when i had her i needed her because i needed to grow up and get my shit together and i think she was the drive that i needed to make me into the person that i am today and make me go as hard as i've gone for the last 13 years and now um how would i describe the experience of having mia she has just settled me so much, you know, and for me, the important thing is to make sure that my kids have a really, really good life. And I don't really know what a good life looks like. I know that it's better than the life we had growing up as kids, but I also feel like we didn't have the worst life. But I just know that I want a better experience for them. And so it makes me want to work so hard and to do my best and just pour everything that I have into making sure that they have a good life, whatever that looks like for them, you know. So um, that is kind of where we're at. As I'm talking about a good life, I have life insurance for my other daughter. And I had contacted my life insurance lady and told her that I need life insurance for Mia. I can't remember if she... She really did not reach back out to me. So I need to um, reach out to her. I just pumped earlier and I have three and a half ounces of milk here for me. For... for it's almost four ounces. I have almost four ounces of milk here for my Tukey girl because I call her Tukey. So cute. Um, or Tukes. I call her all types of things, let's be honest. But um, I have almost four ounces of milk here for her because I think she's been sleeping for a little over two hours at this point, which is really good. That is naturally how she will sleep on a regular day. But today, like I said, has been quite the day. Also, I'm gonna show you guys this little, this little outfit that I'm wearing. One of the last times that I had it on 
one of the last times that I had it on, I was still pregnant with tubes. It was all the way down here. My belly was all the way out there. It was crazy. So to see myself in this right now, um, after having her and remembering how it looked while I was pregnant with her, it was crazy to me. But um, I am, and I just made a TikTok yesterday when I was going to my doctor's appointment. If you guys um, are not following me on TikTok, you should. I mean, it's purely fun for me. So I make the little videos here and there. But um, my TikTok is all things Jadine, just like um, my YouTube. But um, I'm so grateful to my body for having bounced back the way that it did where I'm even comfortable coming on camera. And I said that yesterday in the video. But I also feel like um, had I not bounced back like this, if my stomach was more big, if I was a little bit more fat, I would have still been grateful to my body because my body housed my daughter for nine whole months, kept her alive, fed her, and I'm forever grateful to my body for that specifically because a man's body cannot carry a baby. And so there's so much gratitude coming just off of the strength of that. But um, we're here, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit. I really wanted to go on the road today, but the rain just really was off-putting. So I feel like if anything, tomorrow morning we're gonna wake up early and we are going to go to, where do I have to go tomorrow? I need to check on a package that I sent out to see where it's at and like what's going on with it. But this morning too, I got an email that it was delayed. So at this point, I do not even know. And it's so freaking infuriating. But tomorrow I want to go to the Walgreens because I have to print um, some pictures that I've been talking about from about last week at this point. So I have those ready. And um, what else do I want to do tomorrow? Really just the Walgreens, but I feel like that would be a good little walk for Tuki and I. So I'm going to strap her up in her carrier. Would it be easier if I put her in her stroller? Probably, especially if it's hot because I could just strap her little fan on there and she could get some nice cool breeze. So maybe we'll do that instead. I don't really know. I have to see how I feel come tomorrow, you know? Um, I would have loved to run and do those little errands today when she isn't, when she, without her. But um, her dad left and the man ain't come back. So... Well, no, I see the laundry there, so he did come back, but that's another story for another day. But, um, so I gotta figure it out tomorrow, because I need to get these things done, especially by now and the next Tuesday. Because next Tuesday, I have my six-week appointment, which I'm so excited about, and then, um, I have an appointment for her in the morning, which I have to get a lot of things ready for this week. So, we're gonna try and do that, um, tonight is trash night, I'm so excited, because the trash has been... <laughs> I can't even. Anyways, I'm sitting in the living room watching TV and, and watching to sleep on the on the tummy time mat because I'm telling you, the girl really does not like tummy time for her. Tummy time is for sleeping because all of the things that you would naturally see them doing um, at tummy time, she does that when she's laying down on your when she's laying down on the bed or in her crib. Pick her head up, move from side to side, roll over, use her little feet to push herself away. All of those things. She's exploring all of those in her crib, on the bed, on me, just not on the tummy time mat. So obviously, she hates it. But, um, yeah. If anything, I'll come back later. If not, maybe tomorrow. But that's what we have going on for today. Nothing, really. But, um, she finally went down for a little bit and I was able to hop into the shower, get myself together and put on my cute little pajamas. So, that is where we're at. Okay? Okay. I just use this to kind of um, straighten the top of my hair, so I'll wrap that up later when it's cool, but yeah. Oh, I bought some little, I don't know that you guys are interested in this, but I bought some little claw clips because I had some before, but they were so big and so they weren't really doing what I wanted them to do. Just got them in the mail from Amazon today. So we have two nude and a black and this little chocolate brown color, so cute. So I love that I have those smaller ones. But the girl is still sleeping. Guys, I'm going to put you all out a little bit more. And then hopefully it stays. My coworkers and friends really loved my daughter. Um, one of them just sent some stuff for her. Wow, she got she got some major savings. She just sent her some clothes, and can you believe she only spent thirty seven dollars? Which is so crazy to me. Oh, she put my name on there. Oh, she put my name on there. 
So she got this little outfit for her. So, so cute. And these, I think, are all three months. But the way how Mimi is growing, she's going to have quite a while in these. Because she's on the tinier side. Meow. She's on her tummy time mat again. So that's one set. And we love that we have some pants because uh, she doesn't really have many pants for this age. She brought, um, she bought this one. These are also three months. This comes with two tops. So, so cute. And again, we love that we have some pants in here. I think this wig is making my head hurt. Now I feel like Jules. I'm probably wearing my, my own hair most of the time, you know. Because me can't take the discomfort. Oh, this is so stunning. Is this a headband? It is a headband. That's so cute. This is a nice fall color. This is a nice fall color. If we're lucky, when it gets to October... Oh, September. When it gets to September, October, hopefully it's still going to be warm where these are still able to fit her. Where, where she's actually able to wear, wear those. This one, she had already bought this one and brought it for her when we were in the hospital. So she repurchased it and I absolutely love it. I'm, I'm here for it. She's like, this is how, you know, I really love that one and I really love it too. You, I'm going to insert a picture of me trying on this same outfit on her in newborn. So cute. So cute. Well, I didn't try it on her. I just put it on. Oh, I think I did try it on her. Did I actually? Or I put it on her back to see if it would fit her. So cute. And then we have um, this little set. I am obsessed with Bunny Rabbit. And I don't know if, if you guys remember. Um, during my pregnancy, I would call her my little Bunny Rabbit. She used to hop around so much. So we have that. Oh, she's actually doing some real tummy time. Moving around. Picking her head up. Moving it from side to side. Love that. This top has bunny rabbits on there, and this one has the little mittens over it too, which I, as a mom, I absolutely love these with the mittens over it. And then, you know, we have, and it's long sleeve, so by that time it's going to start cooling down a little bit more and she could wear that, so that's great. So we're going to add these to her laundry, and maybe we'll do some laundry closer to the weekend when more things accumulate, but these are so cute. Love her, and I love how much she loves Mimi. Okay, so we have to throw those out. Tonight is trash night, which I'm so grateful for because the trash can is so darn full. The stuff needs to go out. The, it's I can't bring this one out because... I can't bring the recycling out because it's not recycling night, but... What's the matter, honey? You're over tummy time. She's over tummy time real quick, okay? Oh, the headband is... I love it.